are so happy to spend some time with you all today as we at home mm. church together. Before we jump into our value of the month, we have a very, mm -hmm. very, very, very special announcement for all of the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day! Day. Moms, we wow. are so grateful for the yes. way that you love and care. You make a yes. difference and we just love, we love honoring yeah. you. <gasps> FP Kids, just take a second yes. and let your mom know how much you love her. Yeah. And dads, Ooh. we have something special for you. Yes. When you're done with this experience with your preschooler, make sure you go back to faithpromise.org yes. slash fpkids to print out a really cool craft that yes. you can do for all the moms in your yes. life with your preschooler. Do not miss out. Awesome job, FP Kids. And now for our value of mm. the month. We talk about, about Jesus. Jesus. Yes, and this value is so important. Yeah. Now. Why would we talk about mm. Jesus? Well, mm. we talk about Jesus because we love him. Yes. So let's think about that. If we love a snack, mm. don't we want to tell everyone about it? Yeah. Or what about our favorite movie mm. or show? See, mm -hmm. we love to talk about things that we love and we love Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about him. Yes, this gift that God has given us in Jesus is so special. Oh, yeah. I don't want to keep Jesus no, all to no, myself. No. God tells us to share Jesus with everyone. everyone. Now, it's time to worship Jesus together. Give it all you have yes. in these moments. Let's do it.
God is always with me. So I stand up tall. Stand up tall. Remember, He is strong. He is strong. I won't be afraid. Be afraid. God is always with me. Fear. Fear. Get out of here. Fear. Fear. Get out of here now. Fear. Fear. Get out of here. Get out of here for good. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. See you later, alligator. See you, see you later. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. See you later, alligator. I don't need to be afraid no more. Afraid no more. God, I'm yours. I don't need to be afraid no more. Afraid no more. God, I'm yours. I don't really need to be afraid no more. It has been so yes. fun to yes. worship together as a family this season. Oh my goodness. Well, we are so excited to share the bottom line of the month with you all. Drum roll, please. God loves me. Man, how special. I cannot wait to see how our Bible story today teaches us more mm. about that. <gasps> yes, and before we head into our Bible story, Ooh. it's time to do our memory verse yes. together. I mean, that's my favorite. So this first time, we're going to break it down. Mm. I'll say it. You watch. The second time, I'll say it, and you'll repeat after me. Mm. And the third time, we all know what's up. We're going to do it together. together. All right, here we go. Nothing at all can ever separate us from mm. God's love. Romans 8, 39. Very okay. good. Second time, I'll say it. You guys repeat after me. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Can ever separate us. Can ever separate us. From God's love. From God's love. Romans 8, 39. Romans 8, 39. Awesome. I feel like cool. we totally had that one. All yes. right. Now, this last time, let's all do it together. Nothing, Nothing at all can ever, ever separate us from God's love. love. Romans 8, 39. Good job, yes. guys. Yes. Be sure to keep practicing and memorizing that oh, verse with yes. your parents. Because that verse is amazing. And today, we get mm. to learn all about a woman named Esther. Ooh. Believe it or not, it comes out of the book of the Bible called Esther. Mm. And today, together, we will see that God had a special plan for her. Are you guys ready? <gasps> Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. Just one more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, 
two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan. It's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther. God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! 
It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye. What wow. a great story today. Yes. See, God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for that's you so too. Right. And that's our bottom line. Can you guys say it with me? God loves me and, and has, has a plan for me. Let's do it one more time oh, yes. together. You ready? God loves me and has a plan for me. Wow, what an incredible bottom line. Well, FB Kids and parents, families, thank you all so much for joining us in FB Kids. We had the best time with you guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.